Hi guys, you're welcome to the Lower Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about animated splash screen, uh, which we'll be using the anim animation XML to rotate uh, the logo uh, in the first launch of an application. We all know what a splash screen is. Uh, there's like uh, a session that showed before the uh, real launch of the particular application. So it's actually uh, always a welcome screen. Uh, to your application. Uh, this particular session will be short uh, and uh, we're going to cover all details involved in uh, animating your splash screen logo. Uh, in the build gradle, uh, I have my dependencies right intact. Uh, the test compile, the Android support, the app compiled, and the support design. Uh, we're actually not using any library yet. Uh, we're just going to be using the XML to actually make uh, the logo rotate. Let's move on to the rest. Uh, we're talking about the layout. Uh, we have the activity main XML, which is the UI of the application. Uh, we have the activity splash screen. Uh, this is actually holding on to the splash screen uh, Java class. And we have the content main XML, which is included right in the activity main to actually show some content. I uh, will be looking at the activity splash screen XML. Uh, there's a linear layout with the layout with tonight match parent with a weight sum of one. The context is calling the splash screen Java class. Uh, the orientation is horizontal, you know. And uh, we have a background for this particular UI, which is white. Uh, we have an image view. This image view is actually going to depict probably your logo. Uh, it can be a welcome uh, text, it can be anything, but this the uh particular image that the animation is going to be uh make effect on we have the layer weight of field parents the layout height of 350 dp while the id is given to the image view called image view uh with the source is actually from the drawable and we have a splash screen.png file what about the margin top is 40 dp a progress bar is right underneath uh, with the layout written at match parents, uh, the height is 50 dp. We assign an ID to equal progress bar. The layout gravity is bottom. The margin left and margin bottom are 370 dp and 50 dp, respectively. Uh, let's look at the activity main. Uh, this is just the default activity main we have, you know, because we are actually not laying emphasis on the, on the, the activity main. The, act the emphasis is right on the activity splash screen. So this is just uh, the generated activity mail we have, whereby we have the include of the content main, you know, the floating action button and the coordinator layout. That's fine. Uh, let's look at the anim folder. This is the animation folder. You can actually give it any folder. Yeah, name your desire by give it anim. And we have the rotate XML. This is where the, uh, the animation which actually uh, Happens. We have different types of animation you can actually use in your splash screen. We have the twinning, and we have the uh, when you have several pictures all together to form one animation. I've actually explained extensively on animation in uh, Android. You can check my tutorials to actually get acclimatized with it. Uh, this is the rotate, whereby we have a duration for the rotation. Uh, this is uh, in milliseconds, 3,000 milliseconds, just like a 3 second. From degrees, no, from what point to what point? From 0 degrees to 360 degrees. So it's going to be a full rotation. That's a full circular rotation. The pivot X is 50% percent and the Y is 50%. The closing rotate is all you know, enclosed in the set tag. So that takes us down to we have the drawable. Uh, this is the splash screen. This is the logo. This logo can be anything. It can be your logo. It can be a text. So this is what the animation is actually going to be affected on. Let's get to look at the Java class. We have uh, the two Java classes, the splash screen, which is the launcher activity, and the main activity, which is the default activity. The splash screen, let's go look at how we're going to programmatically you know, launch this. Uh, we actually import the activity intent, animation, utilities, the, and the image view. It extends activity. It can also extend app compact if you wish. Uh, the uncreate method call on the super uncreate. The set the content view. 
uh, to the layout activity splash screen XML, which we talked. And we're going to instantiate all fields are calling the appropriate ID, image view, uh, whether we create an object to come from it called IV. No, the same thing goes for animation. We create AN and the second AN2. Uh, the first one is going to call on the rotate XML, and the, the second one is going to actually load animation, get the base context, and we have the ABC fade out, you know, to fade the animation out after it must have uh, rolled. Also, we're going to start the animation. We're going to set the animation listener, you no, know, by instantiating it with a new keyword, the new animation listener. From there, we're going to have the animation start to start up the animation, and we have the animation end is going to end up the animation. So after the animation must have gone through, which is the end two, which is the object created from the fade out, uh, it's going to actually finish this up, and the intent will be triggered. This intent will be called to the main activity, which is the uh, default activity, and it's going to start the activity passing the object of the intent created from the new intent. So that's just simple. That's cool. And the animation repeats. You no, know, you can decide to repeat it if you want to. You know, but we actually not handling that. So the major focus is just to have a rotation on the logo after it must have done for like three seconds or more. Uh, the it's going to start up the main activity. You know, and that's just it. Uh, let's look at the, the manifest. Uh, the manifest is just going to be any other manifest you've been used to. Well, about you have the main activity as the default, and uh, you have the splash screen class as the launcher activity. Uh, so this is just straightforward. I'll be showing this in an emulator, and I'll be also be, be I'll also be uploading the source file to my GitHub account. So stay tuned.